Hi everybody, welcome to you in Poultry Extension channel of Engineer Rifat Khater. Today, we are going to talk about heat stress in poultry that causes a huge economic losses to poultry producers who raise their beds in the open poultry houses as a result of the death of large numbers of birds and broiler flocks and reduced egg production in laying hens. This video contains how birds resist heat stress, clinical signs, and gross lesions on infected birds, and preventive procedures to reduce the harmful effects of heat stress on birds. In the summer, air temperature rises from the optimum temperature for raising poultry. If the birds are exposed to direct sunlight, they will get a heat stroke. But if the birds inside the house are exposed to a high temperature for a long time, they will get heat stasis. Birds can't cool their bodies when the air temperature rises because they don't have sweet glands in their skin. Therefore, they resist the rise in temperature by the following means. 1. Reducing the quantity of eating feed and increasing drinking water consumption for cooling their bodies. 2. Birds lift their wings away from their bodies to allow air to pass on the skin surface for cooling their bodies from outside. 3. Severe painting to decrease their bodies' temperature from inside by increasing the rate of breathing. 4. Birds lie on the wet places of the litter for cooling their bodies. 5. If the temperature in the house increases to 35 to 38 degrees centigrade, birds sleep on their chests, lying on the litter in a state of extreme stress, and enter into a coma due to enlarged blood vessels in the brain. 6. If the temperature in the house increases to more than 38 degrees centigrade, some heavyweight birds begin to die, and the number of dead birds increases as the temperature in the house increases. Severe painting and increasing the rate of breathing cause the following. 1. Immunity decreasing of the birds that remain alive. After the rise of temperature more than 38 degrees centigrade, and due to increasing the free radicals. 2. Acid base imbalance in the bird's body as a result of increased blood alkalinity due to the loss of a large part of carbon dioxide. Clinical signs 1. The birds try to move away from other pets. 2. Birds lift their wings away from their bodies. 3. Severe painting as a result of increasing the rate of bracing. 4. Reducing feed intake and increasing drinking water consumption. 5. Birds sleeping on their chests, lying on the litter and entering into a coma when temperatures arrive to 35 to 38 degrees centigrade. 6. The death of many birds, especially the heavyweight birds. 7. Multicolored diarrhea as a result of increased drinking water consumption and the activity of Clostridia bacteria in the intestines of bears and become pathogenic bacteria. 8. Bears' feces contain undigested feed. 9. Reduce bears' weight due to lower gross rate, reduced feed consumption, and increasing the rate of breathing and the best getting the energy during stop eating period from glycogen stored in the liver, muscles, and body fat. Then, the birds due to heat stasis are sleeping on their chests, head and neck extended to the front, and their legs extended to the back. Gross lesions. Bloody hemorrhage under the skin due to enlarged and Bare surface capillaries. 2. Bloody hemorrhage in the brain due to the enlarged and pristine capillaries in it. 3. The congestion of birds' muscles due to the high internal temperatures. 4. The congestion of liver, spleen, and lungs as a result of birds' overheating. 5. 
Trekia Drainis as a result of severe bending during breathing. Means of reducing the harmful effects of heat stasis. Due to the high temperatures in summer to more than 40 degrees centigrade, on some days, poultry should be raised in closed houses to prevent the high mortality that occurs in poultry flocks in the open houses. The following are the preventive procedures to reduce the harmful effects of heat stress in open houses. 1. Poultry houses should be built of white bricks that reflect sunlight. 2. Poultry houses which were built of red bricks should be painted with white lime that reflects sunlight. 3. The axis of the open poultry house must be extended from east to west so that the windows are on the northern and western sides to ventilate the house from north to west or according to the direction of the prevailing winds in the country where the farm is located. 4. The windows area should not be less than 20% of the floor area of the house. 5. The roof of the poultry house should be from a material that reflects sunlight or from an insulating material. 6. It is preferable to plant green grass around the house to absorb the sun's rays. 7. High shade trees should be planted on both sides of the poultry house, especially on the northern side because the air that passes under the shade of trees is cooler than the air exposed to the sun. 8. Litter sickness should be reduced to 5 cm in summer to reduce the heat produced from it. 9. Solid barriers impending the passage of air currents in the house must be removed. 10. Water should be sprayed around the poultry house and on the outer walls of it in the early morning and when the temperature starts to decrease at 4 pm. 11. Feathers should be raised out of reach of birds from 10 am until 5 or 6 pm to prevent increasing the internal temperature of birds and the death of large numbers of birds. 12. The quantity of drinking water and the number of drinkers in the poultry house should be increased due to the increase of water consumption. 13. The tank of drinking water must be placed in a shaded place and pieces of ice should be placed in it to cool the drinking water. 14. Vitamin C should be given to bears in drinking water at night and in the early morning because it is an antioxidant and it increases bird immunity. 15. Also, bears should be given in a veterinary anti-stress product that contain vitamin C plus mineral salts to maintain the acid-base balance in the bird's body. 16. Reducing the number of bears in the open poultry house to 7 to 8 bears per meter of the area of the house in summer. 17. It is forbidden to give birds any antibiotics or sulfur compounds during the daytime high temperature period. 18. Viral vaccinations must be forbidden during the daytime high temperature period. 19. No disturbance to birds or movement of workers in the poultry house during the daytime high temperature period unless absolutely necessary. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I will reply with suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.